The coronavirus pandemic may be worrying, frustrating, and even traumatic for many people, coping with not only the fear of catching the virus, but losing a loved one, losing a job, and everything that comes with it can be particularly stressful and overwhelming. As impasse in times such as these, our sensitivity may cause us to feel a multitude of emotions because we feel the heightened emotions of others. With mandates and guidelines changing all the time, it's easy to feel overwhelmed by our own anxiety. It is important to practice empathy during this time, not only for yourself, but for others. Everyone is susceptible to increased anxiety, depression, and other mental health issues during times of crisis. A blank mental health history does not make one immune. In fact, those are the people who may be less willing to admit that they need support. While it is important to take care of yourself physically, it is also important to take care of yourself mentally. Fear and anxiety are stressful, albeit natural, reactions to uncertain times, but compound that uncertainty with isolation from friends and family, and for many, it becomes a recipe for a mental health crisis. People who may respond more strongly to the stress of a crisis include older people and people with chronic diseases who are at a higher risk for COVID-19, children and teens, people who are helping with the response to COVID-19 like doctors and other healthcare providers or first responders people who have mental health conditions, including problems with substance abuse. Stress during an infectious disease outbreak can include fear and worry about your own health and the health of your loved ones, changes in sleep or eating patterns, difficulty sleeping or concentrating, worsening of chronic health problems, increased use of alcohol, tobacco, or other drugs, things you can do to support yourself. One of the best things you can do is to simply stay home. Follow the guidelines outlined by the CDC, avoid groups, stay home as much as possible, and practice social distancing. Staying out of the way helps prevent the spread of the virus, which helps ensure that healthcare professionals and resources are not overwhelmed. Take breaks from watching, reading, or listening to news stories, including social media. Hearing about the pandemic repeatedly can be upsetting. Take care of your body, take deep breaths, stretch, or meditate, try to eat healthy, well-balanced meals, exercise regularly, get plenty of sleep, and avoid excess alcohol and drugs. Make time to unwind. Try to do some other activities you enjoy. Connect with others. Talk with people you trust about your concerns and how you're feeling. Right now, self-care is critical. Self-care is not an option. It is a necessity. At some point during the day, even if it's just 10 minutes, take that 10 minutes to breathe or do something that brings you joy and peace. Take the time to honestly assess how your mind and body are feeling. Stay in touch with your loved ones and help them understand their feelings too. Just because you can't go out and be together, you can still be creative and stay in touch with people, and that's a level of support as well. Don't feel alone because everybody is in the same boat right now. Be patient with yourself. Take it easy on yourself and others. It's okay if you aren't managing to do it all. It's okay if your kids are watching a little too much TV or if you aren't keeping up with your usual routines. It's a lot to deal with and everyone copes with stress, anxiety, and fear differently. 
cut yourself some slack because it's important to remember that this crisis isn't going to last forever. There will be an end to it. We just have to get ourselves through and get to the other side. And we can do that with support from professionals and by supporting one another. Stay safe, my friends.